why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, Winos, welcome back. I hope that you guys got some wine. Let me turn off these phones here and stuff. Airplane mode. Okay, you know, I got two phones. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my number don't leak, don't lie. So, if you really got a second. That ain't gonna leave. Anyway, welcome back, Winos. All right, this is Sunday, and I told y'all some shit is about to go down. All right, now, you guys uh, happened to catch my last interview, okay, with Passion. Uh, she has a history with T Pain. She came on to tell her story, and uh, she really isn't happy about the way that it turned out, okay? She wasn't happy with some things. And she wants to uh, set the record straight, okay? And so before we bring her on, all right, I have to shout out my sponsors. I'm going to let Passion kind of get, you know, centered behind the scenes, all right? Let me bring in these sponsors, and then I'm going to bring on Passion because we got some wine to get into, okay? Now, go ahead, baby. You know what I've been wine. told that finding your perfect match is almost impossible. Almost. Well, guess what, baby? No more swiping left. Because whether you want something big, something small, something new, or you just feel like dumping your old one. Miss Didi of Imperial South Co. is a licensed Georgia real estate agent who is here to help you to find your dream home or to help you get rid of that old one. No matter if you're a first-time buyer or empty nester looking to downsize, she can help you with all your buying and selling needs. Check out Miss Didi by visiting her website at www.imperialsouthco.com. No one is gonna work harder to get you better results. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once, and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. AdamandEve.com. I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service. So you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days. No hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to adamandeve.com. Use the code Tasha K for 50% off one item plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Some exclusions apply now, but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. All right, winos, we are back, okay? Now, like I said, uh, Friday, we dropped an exclusive interview, okay, with uh, T-Pain's, uh, I, I would say, a mistress, okay, because he has a wife, and he dealt with um, passion for uh, a, quite a long time. Uh, she had a baby. Uh, she explained that, you know, she had some uh, issues going on uh, with her body, her, you know, vagina area, okay? She talked about that. She got well in detail, all right? Now, after the interview went live, check, it's kind of staticky. You hear that static? Oh, me? Okay. No, 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 hold on, hold on, Passion, okay? So uh, we went live with the information after the interview aired. Um, the winos, you guys had a lot to say, okay? Passion saw all of the comments, okay? She wasn't really, um, I'm not going to speak for her anymore, but she just kind of wanted to clear some stuff up, okay? And we're going to get into some things, all right? Passion, welcome back. How you doing? Hey, girl. How you doing? Real quick. I, I think I got the sniffles, too, a little bit. My allergies are Girl, like really, really it, is, it is the season. Check. What is that static? It's her headset? Okay. Oh, mine? 
Can we change it? Okay. Because it's really loud. All right. So we're just going to go. Sorry about the static, guys. I don't know what the issues are. But passion. So you saw the interview. I, I, I literally just watched it yesterday. You just watched like, it yesterday. I just watched it yesterday. Okay. People were like sending me little clips and stuff like that. And I got a lot of positive messages. Okay. So first I want to say that. Honestly, you know, the night before and then that that day I was a little intoxicated. Okay. Um, it took me a long time to speak about this. Okay. And um I really I'm really just doing this for the women who can't who doesn't who don't have the platform to speak up or, or you know, or they're scared. And that's how I was at first. Okay. Like I didn't anything could happen. Like, you know, you know what goes on in the world. Yeah. Are you but are I, you I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Are you intoxicated tonight? No. Okay. I have not drank since that day. You haven't like, drank since that day. I just, like, you know, I was preparing for the interview with you, and I'm just like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? Like, you know, and I was just yeah. in a bad space. You know what I mean? Okay. But I really appreciate you, you know? No problem. So tell me what happened. So because, I mean, the interview, you know, I'm not going to hold back. It was a shit show. You know? It was. It was a shit show. Uh, you were very hilarious though. Um, so I can understand was, why, was, why I, you're I moving into lot. TV. I joke a lot. Okay. So what was a joke? Cause you said you wanted to clear up some things. What were you joking about? It was the baby fat joke because I love baby fat. Okay. Um, it was. What about your even, vagina being on fire? And stuff? No, it wasn't. That was, that, that was funny, but I want to clear that up too. Okay. It wasn't a UTI. It was a bacteria infection. You get a bacteria, you get a bacteria infection from dirty dick. I'm okay. not the type of person when I deal with someone, I deal with that person. Like I don't like sleeping with multiple men. Okay. Regardless of what the situation was. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was who I was dealing with at the time. Okay. So I know I know where that came from because I'm like, out of my thirty two years, I've never You never had a bacterial infection or No. No honestly. Oh. No, honestly. No diseases, no none of that. Okay. Um, yeah. The question is, I, and I, I know a lot of winos were asking, like, why did you continue to sleep with him if he gave you a bacterial I infection? Was, I was gone over him. Like, I don't know. You were in love? Know. Too deep in love? Yeah. I, I mean, we were in a situation. So, you know, we really both liked each other. Okay. So, so you, you know, didn't, you you didn't, didn't, you didn't mind taking a dirty, you didn't mind taking a dirty dig. I mean, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no, I didn't get the, honestly, honestly okay. Tasha, I didn't get the bacteria infection until I was, I felt that I was pregnant. Well, I was going to say, usually that happens when you find out yeah. that you're pregnant, some type, whether it's a bacterial, whether it's a yeast infection or a UTI, women do suffer from but those. But I know I got that from him because that's okay. the only person I, you know what I okay. mean? Okay. Because of the so. hormones and the, the, you know, just, it, it's changing the back, you know, the, the, what do you call it? In the vagina. So yeah. I, I, I didn't see that as kind of like, I don't think he burnt you intentionally. I, I think what a, what a lot of the winos were kind of confused about is like, you know, I guess he has a wife. He, he's been so open. So you get a UTI from not drinking enough water. That's Anybody true. Anybody that know me know that I drink a lot of water. Your like, skin, soda. your skin says so. You drink Yeah, I'm not a soda type of person. Okay. Right, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I guess the thing that they were, you know, because I was going through some comments because I wanted to prepare because I've done some heavy research because we want, I wanted to get real with you tonight, okay? Right. Because um, you're, you're about to enter TV, and this is going to, you know, this is not going to be the first time that something goes bad. Of course not. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I guess, uh, you know, kind of what I gathered was that you, it's kind of like you're sleeping with someone and you know that he's sleeping with someone and they have an open marriage. And yet you complain about, oh, I have a bacterial infection. But, but it's like he it's... told me that he wasn't dealing with nobody but me and his wife at the time. But how do you know his wife was faithful? I can't speak on her. Okay. And that's what I want to. That's what I want to backtrack to. Like you know, I made a lot of funny jokes. Oh, pin pin. I should have never brought her up in the first place because I was dealing with him. Okay. She has nothing to do with this. Okay. You know what I mean? So I do want to apologize for that, however, because I'm woman enough to do that. But my issue is with him, and I really don't even have an issue with him anymore, Tasha. Like, it's something that just really been bothering me for a very long time. And like I told you, I was scared to speak out about it. Okay. I had multiple times to do that. Um, 
like it is what it is. And like I said, I was getting a lot of positive DMs, like the negative comments, the negative DMs. Yeah. They said you were deleting, girl. I'm, I'm you were you was person. blocking. I'm gonna you read you. I'm yeah. gonna read you and then okay. I'm gonna block. Okay. Like I'm not gonna oh, and people have been playing on my phone. It, it's it's been hilarious. Okay. Now you so, mentioned because you know you're you're sober now, so I can really go for the hard questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of let you have the floor last time. So, you did. um, I'm from the hood. Yeah. Okay. I know you can probably tell I'm, I'm hood. Bitch. Yeah, I'm from Watts. <laughs> okay. All right. So this hood bitch and hood bitch talking real nice. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got no why, but you know I'm gonna get real with you. Okay. So this is yes. just me playing devil's advocate. This is not an attack on your character or anything like yes. that. But you did say that this is something that you had not done before you don't deal with married men i remember like when we were setting up the interview you were like tasha i said hey call my husband's phone he's gonna get you set up you were like i don't want to do that that's disrespectful and i'm just like it's not disrespectful we're business partners at the same time we are husband and wife i just wanted to speak with you you know what i mean right i get it but you know i have people that run like i'm the personality but he runs yeah you understand like you understand so like from my research, I have to ask, because you said I had never dealt with a married man before. Did you sleep with Buster Rhymes while he was married? Where you go, Passion? Passion! Passion! Where you... Oh. Passion! Where you... Listen, listen, I'm a... I told you, this is hood bitch to hood bitch talking. Bitch, you are this good. is hood bitch to hood bitch talking. Bitch, you you, you sober now, so I can't. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so okay. we got T Pain. Ooh. We got Buster Rhymes. Ooh. What about Ray J? No. No. <laughs> no. Ray is my friend. Like, you never slept with Ray J. No. Ray has always. Been my friend. But you've never slept with Ray I've J. I've never slept with Ray J. Never. Now, you know my ear to the streets in Hollywood now. Never. I'm like, Tasha, I'm so dead ass. Like, Ray is really my boy. Like, no. The other person, you know, it's up in the air. Buster Rhymes. So you slept with him knowing that he had a wife. I did not know he was married. I Everybody swear. knows Buster Rhymes is married. I swear to God, Tasha. And I dealt with him for a minute, too. Like, did no, you get pregnant by him? Tasha. Hood bitch the hood bitch. Tasha, I no. told you. Tasha, who is digging you up this dirt? Listen, like, listen. This ain't dirt. This is why. This ain't dirt. We were, this is... more, we were a little more public than T-Pain, so. Yeah. I mean, I want. Kill me. No, he's going to Who's kill you. Who's going to kill you? Buster? Buster Eyes, he's crazy. Like, I'm not dealing with him. Uh, no, anymore? Or you just kind of no, dabble it on the stuff? I have in a while. What's a while? Couple like months? Two, three, like, no, like two, three years. Okay, okay. Yeah. But you dealt with him for a long time, and he had a wife, and T-Pain. Oh, I didn't. I don't know. Because when I dealt with him, it was just us. I yeah. never did no research. I never, no. No. But you, but you understand women. because of your last women. interview. Said, no, I'm laughing because how the fuck did you find that out? Child, let, I'm <laughs> Tasha K. I'm Tasha. But no, let me clear the record. Okay. I was not pregnant by him. Okay. But we dealt with each other. Okay. And no. you slept with him raw while he was married. No. Y'all, Tasha, y'all no. use protection? Yes. Every time. Every time. Okay, Buster. All yeah. right. All like right. Buster, like, let me let me tell you, Buster, me and Buster are like, we met in a club. I don't know um, if you know, like, this club named Aria. Yeah. The, it used to be Aria back in the day in Beverly Hills. We met there. It was at the bar. Like, we were chilling. It's in the vibe. Like, I'm a vibe, Tasha. Now, like, did I you mean, go home with him that same night, too? No. You didn't. Okay. No. So, I, I, you know, I have we to. We contacted I, each other. Okay. We contacted each other for, like, a month. So before we slept with him, because he was moving around. So, okay. No. Okay. Okay, cool. Tasha, you. <laughs> what? But Ray I... J, hell no. You Ray not, because I was like, that's kind of shady. Ray being Ray that you are on a show. Really somebody 
Ray J is really somebody that I genuinely care about. But y'all about never, about. ever, ever, no, ever. I've been, I've been knowing Ray J since I was like 18. Like I know. That's why I'm asking because no, he's my source did. said that y'all dabbled a little bit. The source is like. And you and, Ki- you and Princess Face, you know, kick in. Oh, no. See, no. I've never touched that man a day in my life. Okay. Ever. That's really genuinely a friend. Okay. Like, Okay. I, I genuinely love him as a friend. Like, okay. And I hate that he's even going through what he's going through with his life. Okay. On some real shit. Yeah. I've made my mistake. I've made my mistake. Well, I mean, he got he to gotta give up, you know, he got to give up the bullshit. But listen. Yeah. Um, but I, but I've made mistakes in my life. I get it. Nah, Ray ain't Okay. Like, okay. That's really my dog. Now, <laughs> now, you know, my ears, like I said, to the streets, when it come to Hollywood now, I got to talk to you. Because there's some, there's some questionable people that you run with. Okay. Okay. Summer Bunny. Late. That was a bitch who slept on my couch. Next. Well, I know Summer Bunny ain't had no money when she came out to LA. I know She's that. a bum. She's a bum. I know. But you you understand it's like if whoever you keep around, because you know Summer Bunny Next. has a history Next. of sleeping Next. with married and I men. Clou- I cannot clout check. Like, first of all, I have more than you. You came into my lifestyle. You slept on my couch. Like, you're a bum. What's first your lifestyle? Like, I, I live good. Like, I, I take care of myself. I don't look for anything from anyone. Like, I do me, and I look out for a lot of people. I look out for a lot of my friends. I'm just a giving person. So a, mar- a, person. So a married man in question is not paying your bills right now? No. I definitely... Because, you know, L.A. is pretty expensive. L.A. is... That, my, my crib is only, what, 2300 a month? Okay, that's a more, that's the same as my mortgage. I have a seven-bedroom yeah, house. Reasonable. For okay. Yeah. Um, all right, that's so... Reasonable. Okay, now question, because uh, you know I was I was hitting you with the summer bunny question, and I do know that Hazel E doesn't like summer bunny. No, no. Okay, now is it fair to say because I, I noticed you in, in I the, did not speak up on that girl. She's late. Like she's too late. She's too late. So this but, is but y'all I'm run saying. together because so okay, I'm go sorry. ahead. Because I'm, I'm playing I'm devil's advocate now. Too. Okay, go ahead. Go this ahead. This is what I also want to get out to. Okay, I'm not coming. I'm I'm glad you're asking these questions because that's your job. Yeah, but I'm not coming out here like oh I fuck this rapper and I fuck this rapper and I did this like no I'm telling my truth and like I said it's a lot a lot of women who don't get this platform to tell how they really feel and they got to go through the the motions by themselves. But a lot of women sleep with married men every day and they don't say nothing. Baby, Could it be baby, that? Huh? Baby, baby, it's it's not what I went through. Everybody's story is different. Okay. But T Pain. Everybody's story. Everybody's story is different. Okay. So Everybody. now, word on the street is you, you, you got some bodies. You know? You got I got some, some what? You got some bodies. That's that's word on the street. I'm asking. Oh, no. I don't. You don't have nobody. No, so no, no other celebrity hookups. No. Or. I'm really like if you met me, you'd be like, hell no, nah, passion not like that. A lot of people gonna talk shit. That's what people do. Like I'm just a friendly person. I know hella niggas. I'm very popular out here. Okay. I'm the girl that hooks guys up with bitches. That's it. I'm not giving it. What you and mean I, hook them up? You a madam or something? You a madam or something? I used to be. Oh shit! I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's how I met Ray. Is that how is that how you met Summer Bunny? That's how I met Ray back in the day when I was going because Summer, my homeboy used to pimp her, but I met her on my whole on my whole other note. Who used She's to like, pimp Summer pimp Bunny? Who now? used to pimp Summer Bunny besides Offset? Did Offset? I think Offset, Offset had, had her setting up threesomes, or is that something that you I said? I think up? Offset was like a wham bam thank you ma'am. He made a mistake. Okay. But you you actually put her because I mean Summer Bunny just came around so I mean are you still in the business of, of madamization or hell no passion that shit is the old <laughs> passion that is the old me what is your like, passion passion Sasha I need a break two seconds no 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 <laughs> Honestly, okay, it's okay. I'm sniffling on air. Look, my allergies been killing me. Okay, okay. So you regroup now. So summer buddy, you met her because you were well, who? Or like who are we even talking about? We're talking about your job. So is that the way that you get into the circle of these celebrities and you're able to kind of carry on these relationships? Okay, so let's go. Let's go with let's celebrity go men. Back, I don't want people. My cousin Derek used to dance for 
Bobby Brown years ago. Okay. I've been around this shit, like, all my life. Like, Tyrese and my cousin used to be best friends. Like, I've been around for a very long time. Okay. I'm just low-key chill. Like, I'm chill. But how, how did you get shit to the point where... It just happens. Where... I'm a... I, I, let me say this. People just connect to my spirit. Your sexual spirit or your spirit? No. <laughs> your sexual I'm spirit? Good, no, Tasha, I'm really a good person. Like, I be chill. Shit happens. Okay. But let's Shit get happens. back. Okay, so... I place people in positions. People don't place me. And that's... Any, if any bitch say they place me anywhere besides my best friend, Hazel, is a motherfucking lie. Okay. Now... And that's that. How is it that you, like... You know, you and Hazel are best friends, and you weren't at her wedding. Like, what what went on there? Man, that's a long story. That we're gonna get into that. You'll see that sooner than later. We're gonna get into that. What's what, where it on the show? It's gonna be, you know, shit happens. Or is it that she don't trust you around her man? I'm always around Devon. Okay. Okay. Not like Devon is my bro. Okay. I'm so always, you ain't gonna say we you ain't gonna recently, you ain't gonna set we were Devon all just up together. You ain't when, gonna... we the, when we filmed the zoo shit, like, we were just all together. Like, okay. that's my bro. Well, I mean, that's business, that's but I'm talking about, like, outside of business. Oh, no, personal, that's my bro. We all talk, we talk every single day. All okay. Of like, we all talk every day. But you won't hook Davon up with none of your chicks. Hell, that motherfucking not. That you... Not to, not to curse, but no. That you madamanize. No. Okay. Because that's a nice apartment that you live in for Thank L.A. You. Thank you. So you you know Hollywood. It takes bodies to get that. You know what I'm saying? Like no, it does. It do, in LA. No, it doesn't. Girl, you had hair, you had makeup. So you must have had chicks like Summer Bunny slinging some hella pussy out there. No. I, and then look, I really have to genuinely like you to fuck you. Like Okay. I, just, I know we're talking I, about you, but like as far as your business cuz you're well connected. I'm sure you got a black book, but let's just say I'm in Hollywood, right? And I'm single. I have the sniffles. Hold on. Okay. (laughs) I'm sorry. My allergies are Okay. Let's just say I'm in Hollywood, okay? And I'm single, and I come to Passion, and I say, Passion, you know, I really want to fuck with, let's say, um, Travis Scott. Would you know how to get me to him? Could you set that up? Because I heard you I the girl really, now. I only met Travis once, so no, I only met him through a mutual friend, but nah. Okay. Okay. Because I, I know you ain't gonna, you know, you ain't gonna throw out no names or something, but I'm just saying, like, are you really yeah. that girl? Like, to, you are. Look, she says I am. Okay. So listen, listen. Now, what did you want to say? Have, that's what people have Sally mistaken, like, all the real bitches and the real men know, like, that I, that. Know me? Nah, Passion got all. She got all Passion. the what? Passion got all the bitches. Okay. Passion got all the bitches. Like. <laughs> so if they I want say. you, if they want bitches, they come find Passion, and Passion su- supplies the bitches. Or if they want to find a vibe, but not so. Let's let's backtrack that. Not married men calling me like. Let's, let's hang out. Well, yeah. I don't know, Passion. I mean, Especially, like, no. Especially if I know your wives. I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. Okay, so, but I if don't you don't know around. their wives, it's game on. That's not my business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. Okay, I think, honestly, this this story, if you sell this storyline, Passion the Madam, it would sell. <laughs> you want me to fucking produce it? I want to see these you bitches. Know, Tasha, you are like, you know, I'm in the clear. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, anybody, you you chilling in the middle of the day, you got hair and makeup, you got your hookah, you got your shots, you got your, t- I'm like, this bitch got a team. Like, what is she doing? Passion, you gotta, you I'm gotta show me, me sister, some things. Really met my sister in the last little slap. I, I did, I did. Hey, so <laughs> check this out. Now you said you wanted to clear something up with the winos because I know they they really dragged hard. They did, baby. They dragged me. Listen, you guys, it's my story. Um, like I said, I was doing it for the women who don't have the platform to speak up that want to, but they can. not And I want to say to you, ladies, that were in my DM, like, stay strong, stay positive. And fuck with a nigga that really genuinely fuck with you. That's what I've learned, you know? And to the winos, I don't 
care about nobody but Tasha. Comment. So <laughs> you guys can have a good day. You guys can keep the long paragraph. But I'm not going to read them. I'm not going to read them. And then if I do feel like I'm going to read something, I'm going to cuss you out and I'm going to block you. Okay. So stop wasting your time. Stop. But other than that, Tasha, like, so the women, like I said, that was in my DMs being positive. And like, for real, thank you guys. For real. Because they don't know what I've been through. They don't know what I went through. I don't care. So, okay. You know, I mean, because it, it, so, it didn't sound like, to me personally, like it was that I bad. definitely was drunk, and I definitely was all over the place. And, I, and I, that I'm happens. Not, I, I get drunk. To admit that. I get drunk on my show, and I get all over the place. So I feel that. I yeah, I wasn't ashamed to admit that. I don't, I don't, that's why I said, uh, next. Let me, let me tell, let me speak my truth, Tasha. And that's what it's going to be. Okay. I don't regret anything I said. I regret how I said it. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? So, All right. So you hear that, Wino? She don't regret anything she said. I don't. She regrets but I did how she said it. I shouldn't have, you know, burned her in it, throw a shot to me, funny, because she has nothing to do with what he did to me. So I do apologize for that. She don't have to take it to be genuine. I really don't give a damn anymore. Mm-hmm. But that's how I feel. Okay. Because, you, you know, know, a lot of women, they sympathize more with the wife. You know, because... I, I Of course, it, that's his wife. They've been yeah. together for 50 years. Yeah. I get it. But did you really think, like, he was going to maybe leave his wife for you, though? Did he make it seem Hell like no. that? Hell no. Hell no. Okay. No. Okay. That's why I went back and said that I did not want to be a single mother. That's why I made the choice. You made the choice for me, but I really, I made the choice. Because I got an abortion at three months. I, I mean, that's a long time. Me. That's that's pretty long time. I didn't as as... I was going to do it. So... But I took it up to work for myself, like, mm, my future rather than that. Mm, I don't want to be like, oh, that's my baby daddy. Or, uh, trying to chase him for child support. No. Okay. I'm good. Okay. And Get so this is the only time life. that you've ever been pregnant. Huh? You've never been pregnant before. This is your first time. It's the Tasha K for me. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm just saying, I like, why y'all love her. <laughs> this is Natasha K for me. Uh, hey, look, this is a business. Natasha, you know talk about that on a later date. Okay, yeah. okay. Was it Buster Rhymes though? Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> now, who did you set Summer Bunny up with? The question is, did you set her up with her current baby daddy, the football player? Hell no. Okay, who'd you set her up I with? Mean, she was. I set her up, um, I don't want to mention him, but... No, please, play please. The he floor used to play for the Rams. Okay. She, she, his name was Nico. Okay. Um, he used to play for the Rams. Um, that's my good friend, too. Okay. So I'm not going to put him in the mix like that, but she lied on, lied to him like, I'm pregnant. She played this pregnancy thing for a minute. So okay. I couldn't believe that she lied. But she got twins, she, now she got two. So. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You finally found one. But let me ask you something. How much do you charge women like Summer Bunny to hook them up? Like with certain... Baby, is I it like a tier? Like have, A-list, I B-list, have. Z-list? If he paying you a thousand, I need five hundred. You need half? I need half. And you ain't spreading your legs? I need half. And Summer Bunny gave you half? I need half. I don't, I don't put that girl in living situations with niggas, all type of shit. Like, I need half. So did you hook her up with A1? Hell no. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. So they, so these girls, you literally put them... Her A1 met on some like studio shit, I think. Okay. I so you literally put A-list, B-list, C-list, and whatever they pay the girl, they give you half. Does the guy pay you or does the, the guy pay the girl? Baby, you're going to pay me. One of y'all. Got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta figure it out. Passion. <laughs> they have to figure it out. Passion for once. Somebody gotta give it up. So how much did you make today? It's a weekend. How much did you make this weekend off a of setup? Let me see. Hold on. Oh shit! <laughs> look, look, Tasha. They gonna swear. They gonna swear. I'm so pussy. Look, are you? Are you? You're not. Are you? I don't even like front touch. I don't even like. I really have to like you to have sex with you. Okay. I don't know. Oh, 
know. A little thousand, a couple of thousand. So you've been working this weekend. The girls are bringing back the cash. I'm chilling. No, I'm, I'm saying the gir- your girls are bringing back the cash. You now, know, are, are some of these men, though? Up, when I link them with some shit, but I only, um, you know, I'll be doing dancers, too, and I'll be, like, linking them with, their, with stripper parties and stuff like that, you know? Make their little coin, baby, give me my fee. <laughs> Pastor, you need a show for that now. This is the passion I wanted to talk to the other day. (laughs) But we couldn't because liquor took over. The liquor took over. Casamigos, I love you, but I'm done. Okay, so do you set up married men, though? No. So do you find out if they're married or you just, you don't ask, but... Usually it'd be like the homeboy, like, man, let's throw a stripper party or, like, passion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really get those horny, like, old guys, like, ooh, passion, like, I'm Maybe you, sh- you should move into that tier. The money is I'm good. I'm stressed out about my wife, and now nah, I'm going to have to. Okay. Okay, so basically, you and the strippers, y'all got a thing going. You set up, because yeah, I know Ray J know, is known for. I hear that I link, and, or I'll throw, like, a little gathering at my house. Because, see, this is the know, issue that I ha- this is this is this, this is the epiphany that I'm having here. You know, I just don't get these epiphanies just anywhere. I got sources now. Ray J is known for throwing some hella stripper parties. That's what got him in trouble. How I met my, that's how I met my boy. Right. So you, listen, either sleeping with Ray J or helping no. him to sleep with people is the same shit. Listen, listen I met Ray J when I was 18. His his old sescapade. Oh, that shit's still recent, bro. COVID-19 no, done slow. I'm saying when he, was, when he was doing back in the day, he don't got shit to do with what he's doing now. Okay. He's a different, he's a different man today. Cause I, was gonna, I don't know what him and his wife he got going on, but it don't have nothing to do with it. But I was going to say, it would be really kind of like messed up if you and Ray J did go there no, together. Not, and not and Princess is currently producing the show that you're on. Last time I seen Ray J was on set. I have not seen him in a very long time. Okay. Very. Since he's been blissful and married and happy, I have not seen him ever. I haven't seen him after that. Okay. This was years ago. So years ago that y'all slept together. Years ago that we didn't sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's really my friend. We're not doing that. Okay, I mean, y'all could be friends and still really fuck, though. No. Ray has always been an awesome individual. So Ray J is for, for everybody. He's for the streets, okay? Baby, that's him. <laughs> but I'm saying what he's been to me. <laughs> uh, uh, you like, playing with your hair now, look. What has he been to nah, you, honey? Nah, lifting up in the back. Because them wigs ain't cheap now. Them wigs ain't cheap. That's about five, six hundred dollars that you got on. This little wig, little this little wig keeps sticking up. Oh, uh, okay. It looks great. It looks very, very nice. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad you the girl. Better. I think like you gave me the sniffles. Thank girl. I I literally sneezed on you. and You caught it through the phone channel. Listen. <laughs> but no, I just wanted to set the record straight. So you got a new show come out. So it's Passion the Mad. I'm going to be featured on the show and all of the women that have moved to L. A. Okay, uh, uh, we could get that going now. I want to see how these girls work, and I need a cut, too. You feel me? Let's get a coin. Okay. Now, what happened between you and Summer Bunny before we go? I don't know who that I like. <sighs> what happened? Is it because, uh, I is it because of this? My last, my last building I was standing, I hooked her up with this little dude. And she just started acting weird because, you know, babe, you got to get off my couch. Okay. It's time to go. But she started messing with the dude downstairs, and then I think he ran off on her with her money beat her up. And um, she went back home to Dallas. Okay. Now, you... Okay. And I haven't spoken to her since then. Okay. So I don't know how she... Well, wouldn't you empathize with her if a man beat her ass? Baby, I don't want to be on Love Hip Hop. Shout out to Love and Hip Hop, but that's not. No. I mean, but the Zeus show is equal to Love and Hip Hop. Zeus is, I love Zeus. Zeus is rock. Zeus is rock. Zeus making us pay Zeus. for that shit. Bullshit. Zeus is rock. <laughs> I, like, I like Zeus. I like Zeus. I, you know what? I like that it's black owned, so I'll give them that. And everybody got to start somewhere. Yeah, that's what so I So I, I fuck with that aspect, but I don't like that I, I have to Zeus. subscribe to a show for one show, and it's not really a lot of content yet. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah, get that. Yeah, it's coming along. But I, I F with the black song. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they're, they're coming along. I like Zeus. Now you can't. I like the people that work at Zeus. Everybody's cool over there. I like Zeus. Okay. Now Zeus need to come on over here and advertise. Make that happen. You'll get a cut, Passion. Now listen. For sure. Okay. Um, you came for Selena Powell. Course, and a but... and a lot of people in Hollywood would say that you are the black BBL version of Selena Powell. BBW? Yeah, BBW. Yes. Definitely not. No, is that why you when don't like her? Me, when have you heard me on a platform? Oh, I suck Chris Brown. I suck him, and then he came in my mouth, and then I fucked him, and oh, Snoop, like, come on, no. I spoke okay. my piece of what I went through. Okay. I'm not on... I'm only answering the question because, maybe you done probably digged up your teeth. I get it. It's your job. But I'm not going to sit on here and say, oh, I spilled this one, and I spilled that one, and oh, video recording him. No. I did the whole T-Pain video recording shit because, nigga, if this shit do come out like that, like how you did me, I, I don't want the people to think that I'm lying okay. because I'm not. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So no, Selena Paul has, late. I don't give a fuck. Has T Pain reached out to you since? Because I looked at his Instagram. He was He's on playing four on my wheels. phone, so I'm trying to figure out if it's him. If it's him, if so, if so, unblock your number. Okay, okay. We because you said you talk. never really had his number before, right? It was all through WhatsApp. We always talk through his bodyguard. Okay. Now or that's how you know a nigga cheating if you can't call him or directly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or we talk on WhatsApp. Now that's how you would know a nigga cheating, or you know. If if you if you can't call him directly, I just think it was just I don't know I don't I was just so head over heels like mm, he's so sweet though. But how were you head over heels for a dude and you couldn't call him directly? You had to call his bodyguard he's, to say, "Hey, can you get T Pain from me?" No, listen, not personal. Okay. Oh no, I don't call him. He calls me. Oh, I'm not calling. Him. I'm uh, not calling anyone. I, I got to move. To, I got to get to these. You know, I got to get for me with these Hollywood codes because I'm like, if I'm I like a guy, I'm going to call him. Nobody, Tasha. You don't call nobody. I don't even, I barely like text him. So I'm not calling nobody. What? Well, how you fall in if love you, if, if you, you don't call? Me, if you want to see me, we're going to see each other. That's what it was. Okay. This sounds like more but like I'm a not, transaction I'm not calling, then. I'm not running nobody down. I'm not doing anything. It sounds more like a transaction then if you're not calling because if you in love, you're going to call a motherfucker. Okay. You're going to be like, nigga, where the fuck you at? I'm not calling. I know what the situation was, so it's like, I'm not calling. Okay. So, not, fair and enough. I did, if and, you, I did, and I did have both of his numbers. But you never, but, but you still called the, the bodyguard? Period. Okay. Now, is it, if it's fair to say, if you knew what the situation was, there was no reason for you to blast him. Fair to say? I spoke my piece. This shit been bothering me for a long time. It is what it is. So, it so, has, I'm, so I'm supposed to keep this just bottled up. Oh, stressed out. Every time I think about some shit. Oh, every time I want to have a baby. I don't even trust men like that no more. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't trust them either if, I, if all I did was so like, set women up with men. me to have a relationship. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of turned off. Okay. And that's been since I got pregnant. I'm just okay. kind of turned off from men a little bit. Yeah. So you, where you going? Because I know you said you were bisexual. So you're no, I'm vibrator. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. All right. You should get the magic wand. It makes you, squirt, you know, squirt. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Absolutely. I think I have the mini magic wand. No, like you need the big one. one. It's about this long. The, the white one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My battery's dead hey, on know, that bitch right, right now. That's the next door, and I walk right past that shit. Yeah, right no, you better get that, that shit. shit. That shit dangerous. is real. That shit is, and listen, it'll get your Charlie horse too. That shit looks dangerous. <laughs> it is, but it's a good danger. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, Listen, talking. tell everybody to clear the room if you're going to use it, okay? Everybody got to get out because, you know. You said what? You got to clear. tell everybody to clear the room when you use it. Everybody got to get out because you will scream. Got to go. Okay, got to go. Okay, but listen. Um, okay, so I'm glad. See, here's what I, I'm getting, you know, because I, I, I do this for a living. You know, yeah. all I interview it's, it's people with stories. Some are a little bit more genuine. Um, some um, are, hey, you know, hey, everybody has their own initiative. Who am I to say? I, I'm just here to broadcast the story. So whatever your, um, I guess, uh, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Is Intention is, that's yeah. on you. But it kind of seems like to me the intention was, because you threw out when you were drunk, that, you know, I got a new show coming out. 
Is it is it to get you star ready for the show to kind of you know because the girl gets whatever, on the I girls are on when they got the body. Whatever's gonna happen, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Like I said, Tasha, and the reason why we came to you know we spoke yeah. about this to you is like because yeah. I really needed to get it out. Like, okay. But I have to ask the hard question. You understand that this is not. I'm ready. I don't know you personally. You know, we just you know business. This is a, so you okay? My allergies are fucking. Ugh. Okay, been, protect bro. that cash. It seems like you got people in the house. Protect your cash now. It's a lot of cash. Yeah. yeah. You should use the current card. I like that card. But listen, um, uh. I'm just saying, it, it, to me, it kind of came off like, okay, because you know a lot of girls get established when they have the celebrity bodies attached to their name. No. Okay. It, no. Okay. <laughs> it took me, baby, I was really scared, honestly, what to even, scared? I was scared to even talk to you, too, honestly. Why? You know? Because, like, you know, he's in a higher position than oh. me, like. Fuck T-Pain. You anyway. know motherfuckers be knocking these bitches off, so. I just, it ain't that serious. Unless you messing like, up the sex trafficking I game. Care, like, I don't care. At the end of the day, like, I spoke my piece, bro. If you can't take it, keep your dick in your pants. Leave people alone and be faithful to your wife. Dirty That's dick it. in the pants. In there. The BV dick in the pants. I got to correct you. And don't make me, don't tell me, ugh, girl, I don't know. But I'm glad you were honest that you you know you said you know your your stuff was on fire and so a lot of women won't come on Man, because I'm and like, talk huh? about that you know what I'm saying. But it's no, what, this is what I was telling you that I was getting excuse me Tasha. Go ahead, go ahead, sneeze, honey, sneeze. <clears throat> I was telling you that I was getting a lot of DMs from women like, oh my God, thank you. Those are like, the winos. They're good. Yeah, they was like, thank you. Like, I'm going through the same thing. Like, I'm scared. And well, tell them to call me. Room. Shit. Passion, set that shit up. Tell them to call me. Yeah. Okay. You guys reach out to Tasha for real. Yeah, seriously. Like, that shit is not that shit is not easy regardless of who the guy is. Uh-uh. Honestly. But, like, Passion, listen. If you fuck my husband, you better sit right here and blast his ass. You understand? Gotcha. Gotcha. Listen. But I okay. wouldn't do no shit like that. But I'm just saying, shit happens. I don't think we'd ever be in that type of place. It shit happens. I'm, I'm a broadcast no it right like here, that. right here. I don't give se- I don't give sex addict vibes. Like I don't I don't give that. But you said you was a freak girl. You said I'm a freak. I am for when I I have to really like you. And then they look. They need to stop this piece. And Question: stuff Did you lick T Pain's ass, even though he was dirty? No. You never licked his I don't ass. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I don't think, I guess I'm not that freaky because I'm not eating no ass. Yeah, you gotta be freaky. Okay. Yeah. Did you play in his ass? No. Okay. He's not gay, my boy. He didn't like. I mean, you ain't gotta be gay to like your ass play well. Yeah. Yeah. No real man is letting you go by his ass. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um. No, he's not like that. Did you eat uh Buster Rhymes' ass? Did you play in his ass? No. Okay. All right. All right, just checking. You know, I got to ask. I got to ask. I love you. Not the whole time. <laughs> I am like, huh? Listen, like, I had it before. Because, you, you know, I do my research, girl. Just my just ears are to the streets. I know everybody out there. I know your whole nah, casting crew. You lit, Tosh. You lit. <laughs> you lit, Tosh. You lit. I already know. That's why I'm like, is it, are you guys sure? That's why I got so fucking drunk. Like, are you guys sure I should do this shit? I asked my sister, like, three times. Like, are you sure? <laughs> do you regret doing Stop it? Stop that No, I don't regret shit. Okay, okay. And I'm really grateful that I got it off my chest. And anybody that knows me, you know, I have a big sense of humor. You know, I say things in a joking way to really override my real pain right. sometimes. Right. You know? And I was so, not lying when I said she was beautiful. She is very, very beautiful. Great skin. Um, she keeps herself up. I love that. So, and I'm not the Selena Powell baby. She says she ain't no Selena. <laughs> <laughs> that's out. Oh, she, it's the Selena Powell for what y'all thing. say. What y'all say in California? It's the Selena Powell for me. <laughs> I don't want to start saying that. She just but... exposed the man just for the fuck of it, mm. and she's not getting nowhere. Like, okay. I'm telling my truth because okay. there's other women going through it. So I'm not just oh. Ooh, Donald Trump. Ooh, this one, that one. No. Okay. No. Fair I, enough. I, I, spoke, I spoke my truth. Okay, fair enough. But listen, I, thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. 
Um, the winos appreciate you. I mean, you're a tough cookie because a lot of people be like, I'm out. <laughs> the winos are hardcore, boy. They be like, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm coming back, y'all. Don't do me. They cuss me out. They cuss the guests out. They Don't cuss me, don't do me, y'all. Okay, okay. The negative, I don't pay attention to, but all the positive people, I'm okay. take you guys seriously. Okay. For real. All right. And all my black queens, and stay strong. All right. For real. You watch your husband. A player. <laughs> I'm not the husband. Don't do me, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> all Thank right, so Fashion. Much. Thank you so much. I'm going to drop you off, and then I'm going to go ask. Oh, you know what? Before I drop you off. Can the winos ask you a few questions? Yeah. Okay, cool. Pop up those um them chats real quick. Let me see. All right. I'm only doing two, three. All right, two or three. So, okay, put your questions in the chat. Now, while they're putting their questions in the chat, I'm going to go to commercial real quick, okay? Right. We got some sponsors right. we got to shout out. Got to keep the bills paid, right? right? Um, sponsors we got to shout out. Uh, raise your glasses, okay? Here we go. See, I enjoy oral sex. But to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once, and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence, so visit EmbracePangea.com, and of course, I got my winos covered for a discount, so use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. AdamandEve.com. I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service, so you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days, no hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to adamandeve.com. Use the code Tasha K for 50% off one item plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Some exclusions apply now, but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. I've been told that finding your perfect match is almost impossible. Almost. Well, guess what, baby? No more swiping left. Because whether you want something big, something small, something new, or you just feel like dumping your old one. Miss Dee Dee of Imperial South Co. is a licensed Georgia real estate agent who is here to help you to find your dream home or to help you get rid of that old one. No matter if you're a first time buyer or empty nester looking to downsize, she can help you with all your buying and selling needs. Check out Miss Dee Dee by visiting her website at www.imperialsouthco.com. Com. No one is going to work harder to get you better results. And we're back. Okay, Passion, they got some questions. You said only three, okay? Three, they, baby. They wanted to know if, um, are you on cocaine? Because it seemed like something, you know, you were on something else the other day. And your nose is red. Casamigos, listen, why does every bubbly person have to be on drugs? No, okay. next. Okay, cool. So you next. you weren't on any any uh, next. No, okay, gotcha. All right, next question. Um, can you explain why you sleep with so many celebrities? Baby, two. So, be next. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was Buster Rob's dick good? Yeah. Okay. Can I just a, two more? That's a that's a grown man. Okay, it's a grown man. He better it's be as big as he is. He better be working with something. It's a grown man. Okay, uh, let me see one more question. Right. <laughs> one more question. Hold on, let me see. Uh, what? Okay, all right. She already answered that question. Hold on, real quick. Okay. 
Okay, if if you live, why can't you afford a de- if you're making all that money, why can't you afford a decent bra? Baby, what's wrong with my bra? Next. <laughs> <laughs> Does T Pain have? Y'all, I'm telling y'all, stop fucking with me. I'm not the one. Stop fucking with me. I'm not the one. Okay. I tell, first of all, you'll see. I'm getting my body done soon. Titties, these titties getting a little old over here. You know. Okay. Relax. Okay. Relax on me, y'all. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Passion, what is your legit job? I mind the business that pays me. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Okay, um, let me see, let me see. Oh, I'm also coming out with a lip gloss line, too, though. Okay, Honestly. lip gloss is popping. Yeah, okay. Sure. Uh, and me yep. and my sister are trying to start a, um, a hookah, a mobile hookah service business as well, too. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, And last, what is your zodiac sign? Aries, April 6th. I should have known you was a damn Aries. I should have known, I should have damn known, for real. What's for wrong real. with us, Tasha? Okay, my my daughter Aries, my mama Aries, y'all y'all. Woo! Right. <laughs> Woo! I can only take y'all in doses. Let me see. Um, will you consider be still okay? Will you still consider being with T Pain? Okay, um, and his wife in a throuple. No, no. And I made a joke about that. Like, call me. I was joking. I don't want him. I was joking. Okay. Okay. Are you afraid of their wives? I didn't know. I didn't know about Basara's wife. I didn't. Child, everybody but, knew about that wife. You can. I did. I'm telling. I. It might sound dumb because he's a celebrity. Like I really did not know that man had a wife. I swear to God. Okay. Okay. But uh, his wife, no. Okay. I, I don't. I don't know. No. No. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So. Uh, but I did say I apologize for even mentioning her in this interview because she has nothing to do with what, you know, whatever. All right. All right. It's what it is. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So. All right. That's it. I mean, they're pretty much a- asking the same questions. Passion, thank you. Where can they find you. you on social media? At Pretty Passion, baby. It's in your tag. Okay. Gotcha. And um, you say you got a new show coming out. Okay. And um, no more celebrities right now that you want to talk about. I'm done you... with people. I'm done with men, period, for, for a minute. I'm okay, so women, women, throw, throw your shot. I'm focusing on self. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so thank, thank so you much. so, right. so much. You got to come back when you get your body done so we can see it. Yes. Okay. All right. I cannot wait. I'm excited. Uh, all right, bye. I'm excited. <laughs> bye, Passion. Bye, thank you. Later. All right, white O's. Okay, that was interesting. I like how honest she was. You know what I'm saying? You can re- I can really mess with somebody when they don't mind being, you know, honest and faith. Because, you know, the white O's, y'all are ruthless. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Woo! Well, we are ruthless, okay? Um, Teddy, what'd you think of that? Uh, it was a lot. Huh? Yeah, she she didn't know I had all that. I was gonna ask that the other day. You know what I'm saying? But she was, you know, she I just let her do her thing. I was like, this is funny. I wasn't gonna put it out, but they was like, no, nah, it's funny. Put it out. So I put it out. Okay, um, yeah, this is it for tonight, okay? We are we do have some changes coming guys to the platform. I have to tell you, okay? Um we're growing. You guys did that. All right, we're growing. So, Fuckery Fridays, we usually save all the celebrity content, all my su- exclusives um to uh premiere on Fuckery Friday. Unfortunately, we're going to have to condense Fuckery Friday down to maybe twice a month, once a month because we've had an influx of advertisers come in and I can't throw 15 advertisers on one show. So which means I'm going to have to do a lot more pre-recorded content. And sometimes we may not have content for Fuckery Friday because Fuckery Friday started off, okay, as just a bonus fuckery. And y'all made it into something big, okay? So while I'm going to put out more content throughout the week to really kind of combat all this advertiser, uh, what do you call that? Uh, The influx of advertisers. I mean, God is good. Y'all have really, 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 really 
built a solid brand. I can't thank you guys enough, okay? And um, I don't want, like I said, I don't want the content overloaded with all these ads and stuff like that. I still want you guys, I still want us to have our, you know, girlfriend time, our wine time. And so sometimes, you know, I, you know you're going to see a, a whole bunch more advertisers, but you're just going to see a lot more shows. And sometimes, you guys will just have to bear with me when I say there's no fuckery Friday because there's not enough content to come through, okay? And so, honestly, this week, it, I kind of lucked up because I was not lucked up because I don't, I didn't, you know, who wants to be under the weather? That's not lucky, okay? So, my allergies will bother me. We didn't have enough content to present for Fuckery Friday. Maybe maybe one or two videos, but not a full-length uh, show. And so, it just kind of worked out. So, if I say there's no Fuckery Friday, um, honestly, it's either I'm under the weather, maybe out of town, or we just don't have enough content. But I promise you... Um, my, my people are working to help me to bring more content to you guys throughout the week. Okay. So you guys need to have the bell. You need to click the subscribe button, have the bell going because we're going to be dropping it because we got too many advertisers right now on the show and not enough, uh, content yet. Okay. Yet we're, it, that's going to change this week. Um, to supply it all. Okay. So I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and TikTok at Unwind with Tasha K. And I will see you guys, I believe, um, yeah, we'll be dropping content this week. So Tuesday. So have that, that bell on. Okay. Now we gotta go say bye, Teddy. Bye.